Hi there, everybody. My name is Joel Egger, and I am the artistic director for the Apollon Theater in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know a little bit about who I am and what I see this theater uh, doing in uh, the coming years. Um, you know, when we talk about theater, when you when we hear the word theater, there's uh, there's sort of a stigma lately with that, is because we've we've seen a lot of bad theater, perhaps, and um, it becomes this this sort of laborious event. And um, in my recent graduate study here at Cal Arts. Um, there's been an emphasis on trying to, to um, open my iris as to what the theater is and simplify it. And I think that, that um, what I've sort of come up with and what I've, what I've heard and what I've gathered and what I believe is that the theater and performance can be, can be boiled down to two elements, which is a performer and, and a witness. Um, and what transpires between both of them either way is a story. Um, and I think when we think about the theater um, in those simple terms, it really frees the mind to sort of um, uh, embrace a lot of different things. And that's what's great about the Apollon Theater, in my opinion, is that it's going to be sort of a, a house for a lot of different schools of thought, a lot of different art, a lot of different um, creative source. And I think that it, the theater, especially in my experience, is a place where um, it can really withstand the collaboration, the raw collaboration like that. Um, so when you boil down the idea of theater to performer and witness, um, you know, uh, things like a film becomes a, an act of theater. Uh, a guest lecture becomes an act of theater. Uh, a, a poetry reading becomes an act of theater. The gallery space and what happens with um, integrating a gallery series with a story being told on the stage with the food being served in a restaurant, all of those things can combine to be a, an actual immersive, immersive event. Um, and I think this, what's central to that is the experience that happens in, in this telling of the story. Um, so I think, that, uh, I think that the Apollon is going to be a place where, where a lot of different people come and a lot of different schools of thought can, can work together. Um, film, music, theater, dance, poetry, um, on and on and on. It's it's the theater is a place that can withstand that sort of that sort of collaboration, and I'm very excited to cross pollinate a lot of different ways. So, you know, having a having a new a new play, um, but also having you know the the exciting band that's in town um, be the musical uh, accompaniment to that to that story or or musical or um, you know or dance um, or screening a silent film. An old silent film with with uh, you know a four piece string orchestra or you know I think there's a lot of different ways that we can uh, we can get creative with how different forms of art work together and perform and uh, how and how we as audiences uh, are responsible to witness how we're supposed to take that in because that's a conversation too I think all art is conversation um, so that I think that a place where that where that's happening in the city of Omaha or in the Midwest in general is going to um, is going to only augment and trickle out into the community. I think that we can be sort of a, a leader in that way, um, but we're not trying to take away from the already exciting and lively um, theater that's going on there. I think that um, when we when when we start and when we open up, um, the things that we're going to try to uh, produce are going to be things that people may or may not have seen before in that community and it will challenge people to sort of um, take in and, and try to understand and see things in a new way which is you know another another way of saying the theater is, is um, you know asking people to see things differently um, so so I think that that can only enhance the experience of all the other communities or all the other theaters in the community um, you know, there's already you know some really good names there, the Orpheum, the Blue Barn, some of the other companies that, that um, I've had experience with there in the Midwest, and I think that we can all benefit from from a new venue um, and a new place to grow. And I think that that's what the Apollon Theater can do, and I think it will do it really well. Um, and so, what my job is is to stay true to that vision, and to be to be a shelter from the from the storm of doubt, and to really sort of um, allow the the artist's impulse to be to come to full fruition and what's great about that is that we're going to have the building the resources and the personnel to sort of see that through to have time and an actual space to rehearse to have 
uh, equipment that is state of the art so that people can really um, take full advantage of what's happening now and be um, on the cutting edge of, of how to tell stories and how, how differently people can witness things. Um, you know, and I think this, this idea of being sort of a leader of uh, innovation in, in the performing arts uh, is nothing new to the Midwest. I think that in Chicago, the Steppenwolf Company and some other companies there, but namely them, have really sort of stepped out from the mold and decided not to pack up everything and move to New York and pack up and move to LA, uh, but to stay there and to just do what they wanted to do, to stay true to their values, stay true to their mission, stay true to their impulse and instinct about what um, theater or storytelling or art is, and they've created uh, uh, a pillar of the American theater. Um, they're still working, they're still putting things out. Their recent play, August Osage County, has been one that's been a huge success in New York and LA, but was something that sprang out of their collective at Chicago. Um, so, you know, they're still, they're still on the forefront of the American theater, and that's where I see this place being. I think it could potentially be there um, because it can be something that we can focus on what we want and not feel obligated to emulate the commercial stuff going on around us like what happens here in LA and what happens in New York City. So I'm really excited for that. Um, so yeah, you know, that's a little bit about me. That's a little bit about what, how I feel and how I see this going. And um, I'm very, very excited to be on the ground there. And I'm very, very excited to start making work happen. I think it's going to be a really good thing for the city of Omaha. I think it's going to be a really good thing for the art community everywhere. So thank you.